Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. My name is Moji, and uh, many of you may know me. Uh, I'm a former apostate, and I have converted to Islam many years ago, and uh, I do debate with uh, different people, Muslims and non-Muslims. With non-Muslims, uh, of course, I try to invite them to Islam and uh, show them that Islam is uh, the beautiful message of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, my debate with fellow Muslims is uh, regarding uh, different issues in Islam, especially Hadith. Uh, some fellow Muslims, as you know, they are Quranists, they don't believe in any Hadith, they just believe in Quran alone. And uh, my debate with uh, them is that we need uh, authentic Hadith and we have to follow them, but uh, I have problem with uh, those who follow Hadith as well. Unfortunately, uh, many of them uh, believe that uh, Bukhari and Muslim are absolutely authentic and uh, we, they are not questionable. And um, yes, uh, <clears throat> I have had debates with them and uh, you can find, uh, watch them in my uh, channel, uh, YouTube channel. I have had a debate with a Quranist brother, his name is Professor Edip. And he's um, a Kurdish uh, from Turkey, uh, but American citizen. And I want to go through uh, our debate with uh, Brother Edip. Uh, our debate was mostly about uh, the dress of Ahram, why it is not in uh, Quran, and why we have to follow it, uh, why we have to dress uh, the dress of Ahram if it is not in Quran. So I invite you to uh, watch and then I will uh, say some more points that I didn't get the chance to, to say it, uh, during the debate. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Mishtaba. Yes, yes. <clears throat> uh, actually, uh, I'm uh, born in Iran and uh, I moved from Iran uh, 33 years ago <clears throat> to Sweden because of political uh, reasons. And uh, <clears throat> when I came to Sweden, I was around 25, uh, I started to think about the existence of God. Yeah, hold on. If you want, uh, you can record this. Uh, I'm recording it, yeah. Okay, okay, good. And yeah. what is the date? Always say the date before recording anything. 23rd uh, of August, correct? Yes, 20, 23rd of August. <clears throat> 2020, okay. Uh, yes, uh, at the age of 25, I started to think <clears throat> uh, if God exists or doesn't exist uh, because of lack of knowledge. Uh, obviously, at the uh, 25, I hadn't uh, enough, um, you know, studies and experiences. So I decided that God doesn't exist after a few days. But uh, Alhamdulillah, I got the time and uh, opportunity to learn. And uh, later in life, I realized that I was wrong. <clears throat> So I converted to Islam. I cannot say I converted back to Islam because uh, <clears throat> I really wasn't Muslim because I just was born to, uh, to a Muslim family without understanding it very well. So um, this uh, word apostasy as well is very ridiculous because many people don't understand it. They, they haven't cho chosen it themselves. So they have to uh, learn it and then choose it themselves. Uh, and now, um, Alhamdulillah, I do debates as well, different places, and uh, <clears throat> it's very good um, because for me, uh, it doesn't matter that God exists or doesn't exist uh, because I, I see a lot of uh, <clears throat> debates also between Muslim and Christians. Uh, they dis uh, debate about uh, if Jesus was crucified or he was son of God. Uh, or Muhammad was prophet of God. I say it doesn't matter. None of them matter if uh, their message can help us, can guide us to a better world, then uh, we have to accept that message. It doesn't matter if uh, the God exists or doesn't exist. So I came uh, to this knowledge, alhamdulillah, that uh, Islam has the solution to every single problems we are facing on this planet. And uh, that's a very, very important discussion uh, that we are going to do tonight, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> yes, that uh, if uh, Islam really can save us, can guide us to a better world, uh, a world without uh, problems, then uh, we have to follow Islam. And uh, <clears throat> the reality, pr 
prophets came to solve our problems in the past. We had a lot of problems and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tried to guide us to a better world. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't have any rules, uh, human rules. I mean, what I mean with human rules is uh, good rules. Uh, rules that uh, uh, human, I, I better say human rules. Uh, all rules were jungle rules, uh, animal rules, you know. Uh, killing their daughters in the past, uh, women didn't have any rights and all these things. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tried to save us, to guide us to a better world. And uh, <clears throat> uh, because um, I was talking to you about the dress of Ahram, and uh, you said that it is, uh, you didn't believe in it. And uh, uh, in reality for me, that the uh, dress of Ahram is, uh, uh, one of the m most important things in Islam, which is uh, guiding us to a better world. And that's why I would like to uh, open this discussion that uh, uh, why we go to Hajj, first place, you said that it is uh, a meeting place, a conference place. Am I right? Well, Hajj means uh, debate. Okay. Uh, to go to Hajj means go for a debate. This is uh, Al Hajj Al Akbar means the big debate means global debate. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do Hajj anytime, any day with people. Mm -hmm. And Ibrahim, Hajj Ibrahim, uh, can, there are many words as a verb means he debated. Mm -hmm. And you uh, Hajjunaka, they are debating with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hajj means, al hujja comes uh, from Hajj. Hujjat means yes. proof, because yeah. debate should be based on proof. Therefore, semantically, they share the same root, uh, the word proof. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hajj al-Akbar is a global uh, conference uh, for people to come and discuss issues, debate based on reason, by, uh, based on evidence. And ihram means uh, restrictions, uh, prohibitions. There are three prohibitions, which is related to the goal of the debate conference. Uh, it is, uh, one is uh, you should not fight. You should not be very kind of carried away with your ideas and become angry and physically attack others. You must restrict yourself if you, enter into a fight, uh, like brawl, and fist fight and stuff, you have to pay a ticket for that. Yes. A certain monetary punishment for what you do. And the other is you should not be flirting women. There is no, you should stay away from that, though you came from all around the world, men and women. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you should put aside your interest in women and women's interest in men. Mm -hmm. Therefore, um, that is also another prohibition, no sexual uh, activity. And if you do it, you pay a price for that. And the third, you should respect the ecology of the location of the conference. You should not go hunting. It is about protection of certain species. And uh, here it is about human relation, a man and woman relation, and also man and uh, habitat and nature relation is uh, regulated so that big conference will not have side effect, big harm. And that's Iran. As far as for dress, uh, it is cultural. It's somehow it is a decision made in the past that everyone should wear the same thing. And I have no problem with that. And I like it and I think it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And but Ihram is not really dead, and um, and I think uh, I, right now the conferences are the same. Like in Western world conferences, people with the same things. They they have jacket and tie and similar things. <coughs> they do not go into a competition regarding my dress is better, my clothes is better than you. That kind of stupid, silly stuff. Right now, it is without even uh, mandating. This is the tradition in Western world. Go to the conferences, everyone, everyone, similar clothes they wear. It's not an issue dress. And the same, I think, in the past, it happened as a convention. Okay. And um, yeah.
And I know maybe you are influenced by Ali Shiriati's book, Al Hajj. Uh, oh, no, no. Hajj. I, I, none of them actually. I don't. Yeah, I like them. Ali Shiriati's book, Hajj, which I really. No, brother. I don't yeah. know. Okay. I just, I just uh, started to think, as I said myself, and I have uh, taught myself a lot about different things. Okay. Unfortunately, the explanation by a professor uh, about Hajj was uh, quite wrong because uh, why uh, a farmer of Afghanistan should uh, travel thousands of kilometers, uh, <clears throat> imagine in the past, uh, on foot or by horse or camel all the way to, to Mecca to have debate with a farmer from Africa? What uh, they couldn't even talk to each other. They didn't even know each other's language. Even today, they don't know each other's language. And um, usually, debate is between leaders, not ordinary people, if they want to make a decision. And uh, <clears throat> so, uh, this explanation is uh, quite wrong, uh, especially that you have to go to Hajj uh, just once uh, a lifetime. And uh, why we have to uh, in in a debate place, why we have to uh, sacrifice uh, a sheep, why we have to go and stone the, the devil, uh, shaitan, and uh, those uh, ceremonies that we have to do, uh, different ceremonies that we have to do uh, in a debate. These are uh, very, very uh, wrong uh, explanation, I think, and bring the value of Hajj down to, to a debate place. And uh, <clears throat> I, now I would like to say that uh, if it is just a meeting place, then why we have to stand towards Mecca and say Why not towards uh, Washington or New York? New York is better because it is United Nations. <laughs> it's also a conference. Uh, everybody gathered there and it's a conference place. So why not towards uh, uh, New York? Well, um... It is not uh, because it is holy and stuff. The Quran states this, wherever you turn your face, you turn towards God. Yes. But it is a, a unification. Uh, it is a symbolic unification that uh, it is Abraham built that house. Okay. And uh, it was for rational monotheism and uh, he promoted justice and peace. Okay. And therefore, that is the house that also unites um, uh, Jewish people, Christians, and Muslims, mm -hmm. uh, at least uh, in theory. Right now, in practice, it's not. And uh, therefore, this is a uh, Sorry, it, it, sorry I interrupt you, but it hasn't even united Muslims. Because uh, you see, she has Sunni, uh, Ahmadiyya, all of them. Yeah. They are in uh, well, uh, of course, if God sent messengers the book. Uh, majority of people read it. Uh, about 2 billion people. It is the most read book, the least understood, and the most betrayed book. Now, you say the Quran did not uh, lead these people to guidance and uh, prosperity. It is not uh, the fault of the Quran or the messenger because of people. People may betray to certain blessings or ideas. Therefore, because people divided themselves into Sunni and Shiites and stuff, it doesn't mean the idea is wrong. It means no, no, they no, don't no. follow uh, that. No, brother. Uh, you should know, first of all, that I uh, do Dawah. Okay, I invite people to Zab. Um, but I'm just talking about uh, that. I want to bring, uh, find out something uh, important. Okay, that what are all these things about the Hajj and those dress of Ahram, and why we stand towards Mecca? Go ahead. I would like to hear uh, your uh, things yeah, if yes. you briefly, if you tell me. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Uh, yeah. I would like to know that, uh, as we know, this is what I think, and uh, I have the proof here from Quran that the source of all problems is the Satan, okay? That uh, Allah SWT says in Quran that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all bad deeds. And the conversation also uh, between Allah SWT and the Satan is that Satan says that I will um, give me time until Yama, I will 
fool them all the time, okay? And I will show you that this is the, not the creature that is better than me, so uh, that the source of every bad deeds, even that apple that they had was because of the Satan. So every single problem. I, I don't get uh, the word, the key word you say, this, this what? That even the apple they had, uh, Adam and Eve, it was the, the Satan who fooled them. So the minimum uh, sin to the biggest sin is because of the Satan. If I'm correct. Because of what? Satan, you say? Satan. Oh, because of Satan. Because that word, I couldn't hear it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the Satan, the okay. Shaitan. Yeah, okay. Shaitan is doing all bad deeds. So uh, am I right? Is it the source of all bad deeds? Is the Shaitan that fool us and guide us to, uh, you know, to, to, to do bad work, uh, bad deeds? Am I right? Well, Shaitan is given as the source of bad ideas. Yes, yes. But the source is Shaitan for all bad deeds. If Shaitan doesn't exist, then we don't do bad deeds. Am I right or wrong? Shaitan, Shaitan al insi wal jinn. The Quran also talks about bad people. Shaitan uh, is the uh, angel that uh, betrayed God and kind of got arrogant, and yeah. therefore the idea of arrogance and ignorance. Uh, Satan resembles that, yes. and it is a I don't know about its uh, ontological existence. Uh, it is uh, it must be from dark energy, something like that that we don't have access to, because it is uh, it is from energy. And uh, but uh, it has some uh, negative influence on us, and as a, as kind of inspiration, as bad ideas. Okay, but uh, uh, so it is uh, like a dark energy. We don't see it, but it is. It influences. It is there. It has effect, but we cannot. Uh, see yeah, it. we don't see. It, but that's the one which affect us to do bad deeds. According to Quran says that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all bad deeds. Yeah. So, so if a woman prostitute is because of Satan, if somebody steal is because of Satan, Satan fool people. Okay. Yes? Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I think uh, somebody... No problem. Yes. No, I just want to make sure that it is that one so that... Well, we... uh, uh, you. Uh, at this point, I don't know where you go. This is a uh, given in, in the Quran. In, uh, but the source, the source is Satan. Yeah, go ahead. The source is Satan. So uh, now we have to uh, try to locate this source. As I have learned uh, in Quran, Shaitan is the source of all bad deeds. And Shaitan is uh, the one that guides us to bad deeds. But unfortunately, the professor uh, says that uh, he, he's just a dark uh, energy and uh, <clears throat> he downgrades uh, Shaitan's uh, role in our problems uh, on this planet, which is uh, wrong. And uh, that's why I was trying to, uh, to show uh, what is, uh, who is the real Shaitan. I was going to say, brother, about the, that if I steal, is because of the Satan. Yes, am I right or not? You cannot really accuse Satan because uh, God uh, has given you agency of choice. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, the, therefore, the but idea what, what is of Satan's role here? If I steal, uh -huh. is it Satan who fooled me or I do it myself just? If Satan, well, uh, Satan uh, must have a role. Well, it's, it is both. I would say both because it requires both. One is supply. Uh, there is also demand. Demand on your side and supply okay. from there. Okay, so it's, if I steal, then Satan fool me. Satan, as uh, as the verse also says, Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all bad deeds. All okay. bad means is stealing as well, uh, drug and all yeah. these things. Okay. So, I. I, I I want to, uh, uh, if you uh, favor me, yes. to summarize your thesis because it would be easier for me to follow yes, where yes, you yes, go. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, without uh, that, I yeah, may yeah. end up dealing with the details, may not be very directly related to your thesis. Mm -hmm. Therefore, for me to understand your argument and categorize your argument in terms of 
what is your reasoning, the, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. your yeah, conclusion? Just, so I'm going to say what? that, uh, yes, I'm going to say that um, we can get rid of the source, um, okay? And uh, everything I'm going to say is about that, um, the Satan is in reality is not that uh, angel, okay? Satan is uh, a system that we are living in. Uh, it is uh, the jungle, I say, with the jungle rules that we are living in. That jungle and the rules of that jungle, which is the, the strongest one get the most and the poorest get the least or nothing, that system is the real Satan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tried to warn us from this system, okay? So uh, I'm, I just uh, tell you right away, okay, without any, um, uh, you know, going around. <laughs> I tell you right away that uh, the system is, uh, we call it today capitalism, okay? A system that allows 1% of the world population earn $110 trillion, okay? And spread poverty among hundreds of billions of, uh, hundreds of millions of people who earn less than a dollar, okay? And lead them to prostitution and all bad deeds, okay? This not only that, they also cause wars. Yeah, and not only that, yes, everything, yes, every single problem. I'm going to say that, uh, imagine, brother, that you are a grocery owner, and I don't have money, I come to your grocery and steal some food. Satan has fooled me, according to Abrahamic religion. Satan fooled me today. But imagine that you live in a city or in a world where money doesn't exist, you don't own the, the grocery. I don't work for money. I work fees of Allah. When I work, I um, earn um, uh, rewards and I get everything free. I come to the grocery that you are working there. I take anything I need and I say, uh, Allah or God bless you, brother. And then I go. In the second picture, no Satan was there. No bad deeds happened. But the first one, because money existed, the bad did happen, okay? A woman that sell her body needs to sell her body because she needs money, okay? If there is no money, she will not sell her body. Farmers of Afghanistan, they produce 90% of world, the world um, opium because it gives them more money because they can sell it, 100% they can sell it. But tomatoes and potatoes, they might not be able to sell it. And if they sell it, they sell it very cheap, 10 cents maybe per kilo. But Opium, they can sell it hundreds of dollars. So that's why that money guide them to do that, to produce opium. And then as you said yourself, Bar, uh, five million people die every year from tobacco because some people want to become billionaires and they sell uh, cigarettes. And these five million, uh, uh, I have counted it is as a 33 uh, Hiroshima atomic bomb. 33 every year explode and we don't hear it. Kill five, over 5 million and now it's going to be 8 million in the future. So for me, uh, the bad deeds, the bad, the bad way. I don't know Arabic very well. Okay, not mustaqim, but la, uh, uh, not straight way. Is the system we are living in, which we do all bad deeds. <clears throat> So opposite to that, which is Sirat al mustaqim should be a world without capital. A, sh a world where we share everything with each other, okay? Nobody uh, can uh, gather billions of dollars. So in that case, they don't, uh, you know, make coup d'etat here, there, attack this country, that country. You know, even in USA, they cannot pass this uh, gun, um, what is it? gun control, just because the weapon cartels, they lose billions of dollars, okay? And we see time to time, somebody go and buy from supermarket, they buy uh, machine guns and go and kill people, 52 people in Las Vegas, okay? Just because some people want to make uh, billions of dollars. So we, uh, Islam try to guide us to a war where we cannot, even if we want to do bad deeds, we cannot, it's not possible. Gun doesn't exist that you go and kill people. You know, cigarette doesn't exist that you go and, you know, smoke and, you know, kill your children. You know that how bad is that? Because these, all these uh, factories, they will close down because they cannot sell it. Those uh, 
farmers of Afghanistan, they will not produce opium anymore because they cannot sell it. Those uh, uh, people who go in Amazonas and uh, produce a cocaine in do in deep in the jungle, and then they, uh, what is it, they uh, smuggle it to different countries like USA, they will not do that because they cannot sell it, okay? So this, the source of all problems is this system, okay? And that's why we stand towards Mecca. We say, show me the right way. Unfortunately, he has shown us the right way 1400 years and Muslims, they haven't understood it. The right way is that dress of Ahram, which is equality. When we come there, we are all equal, no rich, no poor, okay? And we worship that, we make such that to that that way. When we go there as well, we go around seven times and say, we accept it. I don't know the words in Arabic, but uh, I, <clears throat> uh, if maybe you Le know. Beik. Le Beik. Yeah, Le Beik, yeah, we accept it. And then, and then after that, we have to reject the opposite of that equality, which was Satan, the system, which I told you, the jungle. We have to go and stone it, okay? This is just ceremony. This is just symbol, okay? The Satan was said in Quran that the one which spread poverty among you and leads you to prostitution and all bad deeds. Okay, so we reject that. We uh, say that, okay, no, we don't want this. And then we have to go and sacrifice for that. We have to say that I will sacrifice my Ferrari. I will sacrifice my Lamborghini, my, you know, not all this. My, I can even sacrifice my Ishmael, okay? <clears throat> Which is the best pressure uh, thing in my life. So for me, it will be easy to sacrifice all this, uh, you know, jewelry, beauty of this, this uh, world and say that I will accept your demand, Allah, and I will live in a world which is equal and I share with everybody everything I have, okay? I'm not going to gain billions of dollars and for that money, for that reason, I may coup d'etat here, attack this country, that country, you know, all these things. Uh, Mushtaba. Yes. Uh, I... I am in agreement uh, with your uh, basic uh, yes. care about this but, issue. I'm in yes, agreement, okay. but uh, the methodology I will have problem with with this. Uh, what you are leading to, what you are going to. Yes. Uh, first of all, I have a long time ago when I was in law school, my first legal article was about uh, the corruptive effect of lobbying spatial interest in political process. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the United States, though it has a beautiful constitution, unfortunately that constitution is silent regarding the corruptive effect of corporations and money. Mm -hmm. And therefore we don't have protection from big corporations and uh, they, they influence the electoral system, they the, the, it becomes very money dependent. In order to become a viable candidate, you need to have money. Either you need to belong to a class of people who made a lot of money and uh, your culture, your system, your preferences are different, or you borrow money from them and you promise that you will work for them. And they also design major legislation, the tax code uh, from energy laws, all the laws are really uh, designed by interest groups, which are mostly corporations, big corporations. And therefore the American political system, which is called democracy, which is not, unfortunately, is hijacked by big corporations. As, as a result, we see an incredible travesty, travesties, three persons, individuals, own more, more wealth than half of American population. Three person, three, Bezos, Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett. These three individuals own more wealth than 160 million Americans. Okay. And that is shows that majority of Americans, they have no value, absolutely. They may be proud to be American, but really they are useless. They have no value because three individuals um, make so much money. It is travesty. It is a uh, incredible exploitation. And also military industrial complex is so huge for profit, for money. They create wars. 
they create pretexts for wars. They support some very uh, evil people around the world. And I do, I'm in agreement with you regarding the problems, but I'm not going to have everyone must be equal. Um, there are problems with that. Uh, the ideal is to sh listen. Yes. Uh, I, I will let you to go. Yes, the ideal is and what I get from the Quran basic necessities should be shared. Mm -hmm. should, uh, no one should uh, go hungry. No one should be homeless. Uh, no one should be um, kind of in need while others have it because the Quran says the people who are poor people, they have the right in your wealth. But as far as trying to make people equal through laws, the side effect is much worse than the remedy. Uh, the side effect, it creates dictatorship and a corrupt dictatorship. And therefore, I do think that in the, also, I think that individuals should, should be able to earn for their work, uh, whatever they work, they should be able to get the fruits of their work, but at the same time, they should know it is not the money they earn is not completely theirs. They should also share with others who do not have. This sharing could be done through taxation, uh, like one fifth of the things or more, and also individual sharing. But I do think that the Quran leaves for personal property some differences, and that is also important good in this world. And you cannot equalize everyone. And uh, if you say the person who doesn't work at all will get the same um, uh, lifestyle and uh, care like the one who works day and night, and that is unjust, that is injustice. And uh, enforcing this through a government a pow uh, power, like police force, is will lead uh, to corruption and authoritarian regime. And then freedoms of people will be uh, traded, will be, uh, will be given away. Can I say now, brother, first of all, before we go to it, that it is possible or not possible, that's another subject, okay? First, we, we should know the source of the problems, okay? That as long as we are living in this jungle with the jungle rules, we have all these problems, okay? <clears throat> and then we have to see that, is this uh, Satan uh, story uh, just said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for uh, keeping us busy or it has a reason that there is a force that guides you to bad deeds. And then um, when Satan asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give me time to the until Qiyamah so that I fool uh, this uh, human. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you have time, but until a certain time, a decided time, um, al ma'lum. okay? So he, doesn't give him the time until Qiyamah. He give him um, a certain time. And this is, uh, of course, was difficult for people of the past to understand, to analyze it. If you analyze this, it means that Satan will disappear. Uh, the time they were talking, the time of creation was zero, and Qiyamah is 100. So his time will finish sometime between zero to 100, okay? And it, there, uh, this, this um, you know, the idea of uh, Mahdi, Messiah, and uh, Jesus coming back in this um, uh, Abrahamic religion is also a message that, I don't believe that Mahdi will come by the way, okay? But it is a message that there is a way out, okay? There is a way out from our problems and one day we will be, uh, you know, free from all these problems. And uh, these all together make that, uh, even that dress of Ahram, 
that we stand five times a, a day towards Mecca and we say, show me the right way. If he has shown us the right way, if it is just, uh, you know, what is the wrong way? The wrong way I explained for you is this system that we are living in, this uh, corruption, uh, war, uh, drugs, uh, prostitution, all these bad deeds happens in this system. So the right way should be opposite to that. To that. Has he shown us the right way? We look at the Muslim countries are among the worst countries on the planet, okay? So what it is just uh, empty words, we just say, show me the right way and nothing happens. No, because we didn't understand the right way. The right way is the way that uh, is shown us towards Mecca, is that dress of Ahram, which is equality. That's the right way. Uh, and we, there we have to promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we reject the opposite of that equality, which he's explaining other places, that is the one who spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all bad deeds. Okay. If, if capitalism doesn't exist, Poverty will not exist, brother, okay? So first we have to not to go to that, uh, that how we are going to implement this system with dictatorship, with like Raf din I didn't say with dictatorship. It is like Raf din we are going to persuade everybody. Everybody should believe it, okay, and follow it. And if somebody work harder, will get more rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If somebody doesn't do that, that's, we will leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will okay. deal with these people. But the, we first we have to know the source and we have to get rid of the source, which is the Satan, okay? And the Satan is the system, I, I have said, if we remove this, uh, what is it, system, farmers of Afghanistan will not produce opium. Why do they have hey, to? Um, okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate your sentiments and your ideal, beautiful. Yes. And, uh, but I think in terms of worldwide, uh, uh, what you are thinking individually is beautiful, but when you try to uh, force others to do this... Uh, I didn't force, uh, brother. I told you that. No, in terms of... Uh, yeah. And um, no, it, I it is... It, 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 I, I, I think the Quran allows people to have... Uh, wealth uh, to wealth. Uh, yes, Quran, sorry brother, Quran allow people to have slaves as well in the past. It doesn't mean that we, we can no, have- No, it do. doesn't allow having slaves. Slavery no. was, uh, was con uh, condemned as the worst sin. Yes, but uh, it was, yes, it is, there are lots of verses that you can- No, 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 it is, it is mistranslation, misunderstanding 100%. There's no slavery in the Quran. The slavery in fact categorically is such a big crime it is, uh, it is in the category of uh, uh, shirk. It means if anyone claims to have a slave, that yes, person can, claims to be like Pharaoh. Rabbi. When it, yeah, when it uh, says that uh, you can have sex with your wife and your slaves, okay? No, no, there is no, I'm telling you, my brother, I know what you're, you're meaning. It is wrong, false translation. Yes. You take Sunni translation for granted. They are saying, it doesn't mean slaves. Okay. means what you have rights according to Eman means agreements. Okay. This is agreements with people. It is a, it is it is a, a marriage agreement. It has nothing to do your arms hand. The word Eman throughout the Quran it means contract, contractual agreements. Mm -hmm. And that category, I don't want to go to details, but if you look at Quran a reformist translation, my brother. Please check it. Uh, it is absolutely distortion of the verses of the Quran. Therefore, there is no such a thing. Uh, uh, anyway, I, what I, uh, I say, my emphasis is, my emphasis is la ilaha illallah, because I do think that there are major other problems coming. It's not, the only problem is not uh, economic exploitation. Mm -hmm. It is part of the problem, and I think the major problem uh, comes from shirk, and elimination of shirk is like panacea for all other ills, and uh, shirk makes a person uh, idealize other than God. God is the only one is the ideal, because all the beautiful attributes belong to God. God is the truth. God is compassion. God is 
justice, God is peace. We can only serve those principles and through that we can attain uh, peace and freedom. And therefore, uh, I do focus on that one. I do think that uh, Satan create gods beside God. This God could be religious clergyman, could be a charismatic politician, could be money, could be a position, power, many things. And therefore, in, in terms of elimination of the trouble, we should fight uh, uh, this kind of uh, the idea of that God is not enough. But it is again, uh, we cannot eliminate evil on earth. Okay. And it is, there will be always that because we cannot uh, force people to be good, according to Quran, but we can become good. We can create a society who are doing good things and bettering the world and bettering ourselves. And in that such a society, there will not be hungry people or everyone will be hungry or there will not be hungry people while other people throwing cake on each other's face. There will not be. There will not be homeless people while some people will have 10 rooms in their villas, of course. But when the basic necessities of people are met and people could have extra, of course, from their earnings and people still will be tested. With the moment when we try to create an equality, forcing people to be equal, I don't know what you are thinking. Brother, uh, you say forcing. I, say, I never said forcing. Marshall, you all the time say that no, force. no problem. I, then no I, I don't have a problem with no. you. I think that uh, basically, in essence, I we agree with people. you. We are not going to force people to Islam. And Islam says that, uh, Allah says that Islam one, one day Islam will conquer the planet. Uh, Islam, so uh, inviting people. Islam is peacemaking. Uh, yes. For peace, uh, in fact, we want peacemaking to be yes. dominant in the world. We want uh, peace be dominant because if there is no peace, uh, nothing good will happen. If there is war, the, if there is people are fighting each other, all the good things will be destroyed, will be betrayed, correct? Yes. Even children will be killed in the war and lies will be manufactured in the war. All sorts of evil comes from war. Therefore, peace means uh, very the ideal. Uh, yes, brother, I'm sorry I interrupt you again, but unfortunately you cannot make peace as long as there, there is a source for war, okay? So you have to get rid of the source if you want to make peace. Because the source is that, what I said again, the jungle rules that if you attack this country or that country, then you gain more, uh, you become richer, okay? And that's what uh, it has been all about. Of course, we are people. doing, uh, uh, in order to, uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, I, I, I do think that this uh, monopoly of these sources in the hand of few, it is a, danger for humanity and already it is uh, the biggest evil I see in the United States, for example. Yes. But there are some countries um, who did not equalize people, but provided security and safety uh, in many realms for a decent life, like the country you live, I believe. And uh, it is good. I can call it a peaceful comp, uh, country. And of course, it's not perfect. Not perfect. There are problems there. Uh, but better, yes, not perfect, but better than many places. Of course. And um, therefore, uh, it is possible to have more egalitarian, but I, am, I don't think that the ideal is everyone be equal. Everyone is not equal. People have different talents, skills, and different needs but basic necessities when it's taken and also monopolization of wealth in the hand of few could be danger because they can corrupt the system yes. and therefore we need to spread more mm -hmm. but it is always a dynamic uh, fight it will be a dynamic continuous uh, struggle and i don't think that will be able to really end yes. it for good yes i would like to say one uh, another thing uh, to, to 
locate the Satan, okay? Uh, because I, as I, I don't understand at all that uh, you accept that the Satan is the source of all bad deeds or not, okay? Because uh, what I have understood is that uh, you say, uh, you don't say that as Quran says that the source of all of them in this verse is saying that Satan spread poverty uh, a lot among you. Satan is not spreading poverty alone. Satan is promoting also shirk, correct? Yes, yes that's different. Yeah. Yeah? yeah, ignorance, promoting ignorance. Yes, too. Yes. Therefore, yes. poverty poverty is one of the problems yeah, with but, major problem, I do yeah, think. But the source, but, just say that the source is the Satan according to Quran and Abrahamic religion. This is so, yes, Satan, the source. Yes, yeah, I don't understand the what you get okay so, absolutely okay yeah, satan the is the word therefore yeah, we should not follow the satan yeah exactly we should not let people be in poverty we should want, share our wealth yes i want that's in an agreement there is no uh, disagreement here i i think majority of people will yeah. agree will agree with you i want so, yeah i want to locate the satan okay to see if satan is that uh, what is it black power what do you say black energy or it, it is the system that i told you the capitalism okay uh, my home country, Iran, uh, my brother, Eddie. My brother, you if can say not, Satan is capitalism. We can have a socialism or communism, no communism. at the same time do evil. No, Hello. no, I, I will tell you, brother, wait. First of all, we have to locate the Satan, first of all, okay? My home country, Iran, okay? Uh, 40 years ago, we had bad deeds, we had prostitution, we had drugs, everything, okay? During the shock. You keep prostitution as number one problem no, all no, the time. No. I, said, I no. have a problem with that too. Yes. Yes. Prostitution said, is the, no, in the I list said, of the problems we have in the world is in the bottom, but you are stuck what, with the prostitution. No, I said drugs, I, had, I said we, we did all well, that. Also, yes, go ahead. Prostitution and then uh, corruption, everything was there, all, all right? And then uh, we made a revolution for a better life. Unfortunately, yes. uh, they created for us uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. And 40 years uh, after, everything has done a thousand times even more worse, okay? Drug use there for millions and then uh, prostitution and then uh, corruption is uh, so huge there. What happened? This Satan started to uh, become stronger or a system change, which is the system became more satanic system, despite it was saying that it is Islamic and so on, but it was really spread poverty among people, exactly what Quran says, and made people- Then the question people. is why? 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 Because, why? They want, because they wanted to become richer themselves. Yeah, I have what? to ask. Uh, why people accepted that, I'm saying. No, no, why? Okay, that's uh, come to politics, people didn't accept it, okay? People were guided to this uh, mullah. Why people were led, misled, why because people of, are still, there are millions yes, of people yes, still yes. support Ahuns, uh, no, mullahs, no, they're, why? They're, 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 those are mostly non-Iranians who don't know what is what are they doing. No, 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 yes. still in Iran. Uh, no, no, at least yeah. half of the population still supporting mullahs. No brother, no brother, this is, if it was like that, they would make the uh, election tomorrow. They, they don't, make election they are well you see people. on the streets sometimes they go pro government rallies yes you see streets filled with millions of no, people no brother no brother brother first of all uh, that's uh, we, we know they bring people from school they force them i, I can show you uh, videos that from school from job from military they have to come if they don't come they get punished and so on we don't go to that okay we, uh, because that's uh, take time uh, to, to prove you, uh, only this one that they don't allow election is because they have less than 5% uh, what is it, uh, support in, in, the, uh, in the public, okay? Uh, I was going to say that why the people, um, people guided to, to this was because of the dictatorship before. Shah regime was a dictator. People didn't know Ayatollah Khomeini. They didn't know Mujahideen Khal. I don't know if you have heard about them. They didn't know Fadai. They didn't know any people, uh, what is it, opposition to, to the Shah. They just wanted to get rid of this uh, dictatorship and they came out, they were demonstrating down with the Shah and then Ayatollah BBC 
was propaganda for Ayatollah Khomeini all the time. We call it Ayatollah BBC because they were the one who became the, the propaganda machine for Khomeini. That Khomeini said like this, Khomeini said like that, so that we don't follow the leftist groups, okay? And they cut USA and UK, they cut the revolution. After seven months, the revolution, they took out the Shah, the army which was killing people yesterday uh, took out the, the, the white flag. Why? Because uh, they were afraid that if uh, uh, Ayatollah Khomeini lose the control, the leftist group, they get the power. And if they get the power, they go to, towards Soviet Union. And that was what the West didn't want. So they talked to Khomeini in Paris. And uh, this is all, uh, there are every evidence is Khomeini uh, said himself that, okay, I'm not going to, uh, to, uh, to rule the country. Uh, I just want to go to, to Qom. And then there was a liberal called uh, Mr. Bazargan. He said that uh, he's going to be, uh, be the prime minister because Americans said that, okay, you can go to Iran to Khomeini, but let this Bazargan keep, uh, become prime minister. Khomeini accepted everything because he was going to fool everybody. But anyway, he, uh, Americans didn't have any choice because they, uh, either they should accept Khomeini or the leftists. And the leftists was very bad for them because they, were, they would go towards uh, Soviet Union at that time. But anyway, it is uh, uh, another discussion, as I said. The discussion was here that because Khomeini at that time, brother, at that time, $1 was seven too much, okay? My father was- I remember, yes, I went to I, Iran in 1980, yes, it was $7. Yes, seven, 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 seven too much. much. And one, my father was making, men. yeah. Yes. My, my father was making five hundred dollars a month. We could buy a house, we could buy a car, everything. Okay, everything was very cheap. When Khomeini came uh, to the power, he destroyed the economy. And now one dollar is twenty three thousand two month. Twenty three thousand two month, and people make less than a hundred dollar per per month. And uh, the salary is, uh, if they get the salary, months, they don't get the salary every day. Is but a, according to your calculation, that time, the old times also, if it was 500 to men, 500 uh, no, divided no, 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 by- No, no, $500, $500. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah, one dollar- $500. My father okay. was making over 3,000 two months. Uh, I see, that. okay. Yes, so $500. So now people became a thousand times poorer. And that's why, Everything became worse. Every, you cannot even. Thousand times is very exaggeration, but uh, no, no, really, maybe brother. ten times. No, 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 brother. You are not Iranian. <laughs> Don't brother. do that. Too much exaggeration. No, no, brother. Don't, you are not Iranian, brother. I am Iranian. Four million, according to the government itself, four million drug users. We had just maximum ten thousand. I know Iran I is incredible. Is like hell. Yeah, and it, people that, are that, suffering uh, from economy, from oppression, yes, in many ways, economic cannot, and political it, and personal, it, it, yes. very terrible. You cannot even walk on the street. So everything has become a thousand times worse. What happened? Satan became stronger? No, a more satanic system got the power in Iran. Okay? Yeah, you're right, that's but uh, the, the system... system. Yeah, that's what was, was I going to tell you all the time, that the system is satan. Satan doesn't exist in that uh, you know, way Quran was telling us, uh, warning us from a power which... Uh, Listen, uh, I think uh, you, you are a little bit got stuck on something beautiful, but you don't know uh, exactly what is uh, panacea for that. Okay. What led to this one, again, it was... Um, it was people's idealization of mullahs or leaders. Therefore, it is a really idol worship. People do not, did not have monotheism. And if people, if monotheism, these things will not happen. But if people are not monotheistic, they will end up idolizing political leader and religious leaders. And with time, they will get corrupt and they will become authoritarian. All things follow that. The acceptance of people without questioning them. And to me, the root of all the troubles is that you, when you don't really diagnose the problem as it is, you are going down the category and then you, you say it, but hello, what is the solution? What is the solution? Solution is make people free. Be free. You are individual. You are equal to everyone else. Between you and God, there is no one. 
Therefore, don't put any mullahs, any politicians. Don't idolize them. Don't give them too much power because they don't deserve it. Okay. They are equal. They are human beings like you. This mindset is the one really can protect individuals to be swayed, to be fooled by sociopaths, by mullahs, by popes, by priests. Otherwise, it will be always this kind of system of corruption. Therefore, as uh, Karl Marx said, the religion is opium of masses. The religion really what he's referring is uh, I, polytheistic religions that says God mm -hmm. is not enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, look at the United States. And many millions of people vote for these guys who is a billionaire, who is a liar, who is a crook, who doesn't really care about the poor people mm -hmm. or about the working people. He's a liar. How are these people fooled by him? Because people idolizing politicians, ignorance and idol worship. This is the root of really problem, how people are exploited. In Turkey, look, millions of people support this liar who is a thief, mm -hmm. uh, Erdogan, yes. who is a thief. How he can fool these people? He right, he right now, he waved uh, Hazrat Omar's, he always says, Hazrat Omar's uh, patched shirt. Mm -hmm. He had patched clothes. He was, had a poor life. He didn't enrich himself when he became the leader. Okay. And then, but this guy waved Hazrat Omar's patched shirt and he made for himself the biggest mansion in the, the biggest palace in the world. 1,150 rooms. That's not enough. He got so greedy. He made 300 another palace, 300 room in Aegean part of Turkey. And now he's making another palace in Bitlis in my hometown in the Eastern part of Turkey. Mm -hmm. And his family got so rich in billionaire, dollar billionaire. Yeah. His wife just got one um, bag in Belgium. We know the price of the bag because it was outside of Turkey. She closed the most expensive shop there in Brussels. And then she purchased a bag. She came out with a bag, Hermes brand bag. And then journalists, they went to the store after she got out. There were police around it. She closed the most expensive store for one hour. And then they checked. They asked her, uh, they, they asked the store, uh, what was the price of the bag she purchased? It was $49,995 for one single bag. They were not rich. They became rich by stealing people's money, poor people, therefore. But how these poor, poor, these poor, poor people are clapping this. They are supporting whatever you say. They are clapping. Now, we, I have to look at what is the problem. These people are hungry. Their mouth smells because of hunger. They are malnourished. Their children are poor. They are, they are living in a one room, six, seven people in one single room, and the roof perhaps leaking. But this guy is defending and is going to die for this guy who is the biggest thief, who steals his money, he has the, the biggest mansion in the world. Mm -hmm. And how this happened? This happened. It is not by force. It is by fooling people. How? In the name of God. Yes. Or whatever it is. If people are idol worshippers, my brother, this economic exploitation, this false system will be there. And therefore, we need to tell people what? I think the, the panacea is free people from bondage, become servant of humans. Mm -hmm. From the back, we have so many idols. If we have idols in the past, we can have idols now. Therefore, break all the idols like Abraham did. I think that's the way to attack these uh, inequalities and these troubles. But uh, these people do this, brother, because of money, because they make money, because these are the one and the people like him, the mullahs of Iran, uh, for example, the leader is $95 billion rich. All of them are billionaires now. So again, as I said, that 1% that have $110 trillion in the world, 
They will not stop. They will learn. Yes, they will fool people in every different way, okay, uh, to, to become richer and richer. And like Adolf Hitler, he, did, he couldn't use religion. He used nationalism, okay? Two things throughout history, thank you. Two things that is used to make people stupid and to make people justify slavery, justify oppression, justify theft, grand theft. One is religion, God, and the other is nationalism, tribalism, throughout history. These are the two emotions turn people, intoxicate people, turn people against their own interests. Therefore, well, these two is, can be fought with the idea of monotheism. That's it, monotheism is cure is major thing my brother is shirk that people when you when people free through monotheism they will not tolerate these kind of things they will not support sociopaths and leaders like that they will not be duped by flag or by holy books okay. that's it simple yeah, but brother, uh, Afghanistan, people in Afghanistan, uh, the farmers, they produce 90% of the world opium because they, they are poor, they need food to put on their table, okay? So even well, they, they they, before, that, like, before that, they were idol worshippers. Therefore, they found this trouble. How they end up with this, with their mind is of idol worship. They follow all the lies of the mullahs or the religious people or politicians. Okay. Therefore, the really the root of the things, my brother, if you want uh, in terms of individual freedom and better society and uh, social and economic, uh, economically, socially better world, we have to fight the so idea you, of uh, polytheism, so which comes you, in many color and shapes. Yeah. Yes. So, so you say if uh, we uh, people don't idealize somebody okay then the problem will solve then yeah. uh, then we will yeah. not, then we'll, uh, the, these uh, factories they will not produce alcohol to kill millions of people they will not produce um, uh, cigarettes to kill millions of people no i, I think uh, you are thinking too petty listen if people uh, it starts from individuals it starts from individual. If individual is not reforming himself, changing his mind, they will make their own alcohol, they will make their own guns, and they will go find pharaohs, they will become slaves for pharaohs. Therefore, it starts from individual enlightenment and freedom, and that there's no other way. And uh, the simplest way, the summary of it, is freedom through la ilaha illallah. This is what I came to be convinced 100 percent yes freedom yes but uh, uh, i can say like this that uh, the uh, rules alone that don't do this don't do that is not enough and we have to remove the source of the the, the problems uh, for example if some children are uh, playing uh, with knife uh, in the room uh, we don't have to say all the time don't uh, uh, play with their knives, they are dangerous. We have to just remove the knives. And for example, as I said, that if uh, we live in a world where you cannot gain money, <clears throat> you cannot become billionaires, then you are not going to factories. Okay, you say that uh, uh, <clears throat> somebody make their own alcohol, okay? First yeah. of all, uh, nobody is going to make their own uh, cigarette. Okay. In uh, cigarette. I would like to go, my brother. Thank yes. you very much. Another time, hopefully, we'll discuss further these issues. Inshallah, but just one minute. Just one to summarize yeah. it, okay? Yeah. I just say that if we remove the source, nobody, a few people might make alcohol, but they are not going to make whiskey, vodka, all these different brands and sell it uh, and make millions of or billions of dollars. Somebody make uh, wine at home, that's all. Not everybody. In Sweden, we cannot produce cigarettes. In Sweden, we cannot produce uh, uh, cocaine or heroin. Uh, so uh, the only way is to smuggle it in, and those who smuggle in it, they, they do it because of money. If it disappear, then they, we will not be able to even make it here, okay? And but to, with education, those who make it, those individuals who make it with education, they will also stop it after a while, okay? But 
when the system encourages you to become richer, so and industrialize it, they, then you uh, make uh, factories for uh, alcohol, for, for cigarettes, and so on. My brother, yes. the counter argument will be for your thing. The counter argument will be uh, if you eliminate making money better living, and yes. people will not work hard enough to find cure for diseases or better uh, like uh, uh, technology for making life easier on earth. Yes, yes. But you're wrong, brother. You think that because you are in this system and you think people just work for money. But let me tell you, brother, do you know, have you heard about Mujahideen Khalq? I have heard, of course. Yes, yes. This is an organization I'm following. We are fighting against the Iranian regime, okay? And uh, in that organization, there are uh, several thousand members, okay? Now they are living in Albania. Before, they were living in Ashraf City in Iraq. They were bombed by uh, US and UK. Anyway, they are several thousand, and they don't get a, a single dollar, okay? They have an ideology. They have a belief to, to free Iranian people, and they work two, 24 hours. They, they make impossible, possible, okay? So Let me all is not money. Uh, all is not money, brother. My brother. Yes. Uh, better example is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is put together by volunteers, okay? Yes, sir. Now, of course, uh, I, I'm not saying they're not volunteers. Help Mujahideen, not billions of people help Mujahideen. No, I mean. What you don't get. It is a fraction in the human population. Yes. They will be sharing. They have more empathy or some other drive, other passion, ideas. They want to sacrifice even their lives. People there throughout history, we see everywhere. But their number is limited. Everyone will never be like that, however you want it. Therefore, you need to force people. Now, no, what no, you no, come, no. <laughs> what you come, ultimately, ultimately, I know it. Yeah. Ultimately, it will become dictatorship. Okay. And uh, ultimately, it will become a dictatorship. I said the cure will be worse uh, than the, uh, uh, the, the, the side effect will be uh, yes. worse than the cure right. and the remedy. Inshallah. Another time, let's discuss this. Yes. Inshallah, and, uh, we will see very soon. <laughs> Inshallah. God bless Inshallah. you. Thank you very Thank much, you my much brother. Salam Peace. Salam. Thank you, uh, my brothers and sisters, for watching this uh, debate, and uh, I'm always open for uh, future debates. Uh, please contact me if you uh, would like to have a debate with me. Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters.